Hey, what's up, guys? Time is back with another Lynn Scents video. Before I get into this fragrance, just want to say thank you, guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, the tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me going through that car wash right now. Who knows? Maybe you got that car wash. You got to sit in there for like two or three minutes. You're getting a fragrance review in and uh, you are on your way. But if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. Man, you guys, it has been a while since I've done my last video. Man, it's uh, been quite busy. Got family and stuff in town. Um, just got a lot of stuff going on. And um, with that... Um, I apologize for the delay and with that being said because some of you guys have still been uh, here since a one today is a fan edition video mr. Michael LaRussa if you are watching this video shout out to you sir man if you've never met him uh, go check him out he's usually on most of the Facebook fragrance groups definitely a knowledgeable guy definitely has a lot of fragrances and uh, just a great guy in general so mr. Michael LaRussa Shout out to you. And before we get into this fragrance, I just got to say, you guys notice the beard is always looking nice and lovely. You know, that beard, you got to have that nice beard work, okay? Sometimes you need that soft beard. Sometimes you need to comb that beard. You need to brush that beard. And then you need to have that balm. And when it comes to beard balm, there is none other. I've been using this for quite a while now. And this is from my friends over there at the Enchanted Path Creations out there in Pennsylvania. This is that iron forge beard um tobacco vanilla man this stuff smells <sighs> so good just got done using it so my face is kind of smelling root beerish spicy vanilla y uh all of that man if you guys never had some beard balm smell like tobacco vanilla man i encourage you to get a hold of those people again on facebook i'll leave there uh information at the bottom of this video too at the go check out the description so with that being said let's finally get into this again this is a fan edition video and this fragrance comes from that fan mr michael larusa nice trade traded a few fragrances in the past and this one has just been kind of sitting over there waiting to be opened and this is from the house now i believe this is the house of hamidi okay hamidi but it is produced from Sterling, the House of Sterling. So the people who bring to you off, uh, Armoff fragrances like that, Sterling perfumes. Okay, so this is, uh, again, Hamidi. Now this is called the Addicted Imperial. And on the back, it says an incredible lush composition that imbues the essence of royalty. Addicted Imperial by Hamidi unveils Italian bergamot with fresh marine chords, which contrasts with dominating woody tones at the heart before settling on a warm, musky base. Now, I've never smelt this again. There goes your sterling uh, sticker right there. Bottom, we do got badge code. Now, this is actually made in France, so not made in the UAE. So, I'm not sure if this whole Hamidi is, uh, it's like a France, um, England, maybe it's European. So, who knows? Uh, Let's just get the hell into it, okay? So, open this box up. And let's see this bottle. Nice and heavy. The box was nice and heavy, too. Take a look at this bottle. Very nice. It's kind of got this, um, not gold, but this nice yellow rose. Maybe rose gold. This rose gold shiny look, which is very nice. Again, look at that. You can see my video reflection doing a, uh, using the front-facing camera out of all things. So, there you go. Hamidi Addicted. This is that Imperial. So I'm assuming they have a lot in this Addicted lineup. And then this one is just called the Imperial. So let's see what this is all about. Heavy cap, which is nice. Sharp corner, so be careful on that. But here we go on the bottom. Got that badge code on the bottom too. So not just like all those other Middle Easterns with the sticker. Here we go. Nothing going on. It's more like a fine mist. Mmm, I like I like it already. I like it already in the air. Very nice, very fresh, very yeah, I do get like this kind of watery almost like chewing some of that watermelon bubblicious. You ever get the smell of that bubblicious watermelon bubblegum, which is very nice, 
kind of smells like watermelon and kind of watery and sweet. That's kind of what I'm getting in the air. It's not super duper sweet, but it's nice, like a fruity sweet, okay? Okay, on... Again, this is a fragrance that smells much better in the air. Much better after you spray it on your clothes, you spray it on your skin, you start getting the walking, you get that sweat going. On skin? Hmm. Okay. Give it like a couple minutes, like a, maybe a minute or two. Now this fragrance is really starting to smell lovely. You get, again, that, that marine, aquatic, almost salty, watery smell in the air. Definitely getting that bergamot, but that I like that the fact that the bergamot is not so strong where this just smells like citrus right off the back. It really smells like everything is working together right up front. This is nice. A fresh, again, kind of aquatic, got a little bit of that citrus, that bergamot working in the background. Again, the citrus is not so dominant where it just smells like straight up citrus. You don't, you know, some fragrances, it's okay. You know, it, it, it's cool to say, man, that citrus is so nice. But there are some fragrances where I like, I'm like, man, I smell too much like a lemon head or uh, a lime or something like that. I don't want to smell too much like that. I want to be able to smell that lime, but I want all the other notes, whatever notes are in there, to kind of gel together and work together. And this fragrance, man, fresh. Kind of smells outdoorsy, like if you had a nice little breeze going on, okay? Man, I like this. I like this a lot. This smells very good. This smells great. This smells great for a daytime wedding. If you're going on a daytime wedding, you're going to be dressing up. You're going to have maybe a nice white button-down t-shirt, maybe a nice little tie. Who knows? I mean, if it's if it's kind of uh, loose up here, you're not going to have no tie. You're just going to have it uh, showing that chest. I'm not going to be showing my chest because I don't have no line right there. But if I was, I'd be rocking that. I'd be rocking this at a wedding, dressed up really nice, okay? You want to wear that to work, okay? You want to make that grand impressions. That is definitely a fragrance that will do so. You step into that room, you are going to turn some heads with that. Now, again, when I say turn heads, it's not because it's a fragrance that no one has smelled before. It's something that, uh, oh man, I never smelled that type of smell before. It's not like that. You probably, once you spray this on, you smell it, you'll be like, man, I've smelled this before. It smells like something similar. And it does, but it smells very good even if it does smell like something else it does it very very well again again almost kind of fruity sweet again you get that citrus but then you get this marine outdoorsy it smells like outdoorsy with like a wind going back and forth maybe you get a little bit of that maybe you you know when you're outdoors and you're near like a tree and the wind starts blowing you kind of smell the leaves you kind of smell the wood and stuff like that this is what you're kind of getting with this fragrance okay it smells very good outdoorsy watery these woody notes a little bit of that citrus you put that all together and that is what you get with this juice man i'm enjoying this actually gonna make it I think I'm gonna make that the scent of the day man it smells again it kind of when it says musky when you put all this together you smell those notes and then you kind of get this nice fabric sheet kind of smell that wraps all of it around okay take a fabric sheet wrap it around all that stuff woody marine outdoorsy green grassy tree smells okay like that and you wrap that around with a big fabric sheet and you just whiff it around just like, like, almost like you are about to season a uh, a batch of chicken stock. Sometimes you got to take that cheesecloth and put all your herbs and stuff in there. Then you dip it in there. That's kind of like what you do. You take a fabric sheet. You open that bad boy up. You put all those ingredients in. The green <coughs> notes, the lemon, the citrus, all that. You wrap it up. And then that's what you get. Pardon the dogs. They're barking at the Mr. Amazon man, I think, coming up the stairs, uh, making that noise. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, sorry for the MIA. I promise I'll be back a little bit more often, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the return. And if you guys enjoyed that video and you want to be a part of the Mr. Linsen's bandwagon, please hit the subscribe button. 
comment, like. You guys already know. A lot of you guys know. I usually respond to most comments. I don't just give hearts. I don't just do likes. I want to talk to you guys, okay? So leave those comments down below. Leave those likes and definitely hit that notification bell so you know when to be notified on the next video. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.